Hi, welcome back. We are continuing our steps uh, through the process of installing Moodle locally. We've already set up a database. We've got that up and running. And now we're going to move down to creating a data directory. So let's look at these instructions. Create an empty directory to hold Moodle files. It must not be in the same area served by the web server and must have permission so that the web server user can write to it. Typically, either make it owned by the web server user or give it write permissions for everyone. Okay, so this is basically the step that always has confused me because I've always wondered, now wait a minute, is this the same folder as the Moodle folder, the one that uh, I, that zip file that I've already extracted, or is this some other folder? And basically it's another folder. This sentence, however, right here, it must not be in the same area served by the web server. I'm guessing that means it's not supposed to be inside this Moodle folder that we're going to set up. So we're basically going to have two folders. We're going to have the Moodle uh, folder, which is going to be in this step right down here that we'll cover in the next movie, but we have to have a folder for data. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to first fire up MAMP. Oops. MAMP. Okay, I don't know what happened there. MAMP. Alright, I want to fire up MAMP because I want to find out where to uh, set up this folder. So here it boots up. It's uh, showing the local host plus support and the uh, MAMP folder. Now, when it pops up this page, um, you'll see this uh, link to my website, which basically just takes you to your localhost root. And as we can see in here, there's nothing there. And that's very helpful. So the big question we have is where is this located on my computer? So the way to find out is to go to MAMP and click on preferences and go to the web server tab and it will show you the path to get to this folder. So it's basically in the um, in the hard drive, in the applications folder, uh, inside MAMP, and then there's a folder called htdocs. And if I click on this little arrow, it will take me there. And as you can see, there's nothing actually in this. So just for fun to make sure everything is working. I went ahead and I set up this little uh, index.html page. So if I refresh here, I'll see this wonderful line I can code. Okay. Now, thing is, I don't really like uh, the idea of having these files buried within the applications folder of uh, my computer. I would prefer to have it somewhere uh, somewhere else. And the place I prefer is actually to have it um, in this path where it's uh, the hard drive users, my username, and then there's a folder called sites. Uh, it used to be that when you uh, would buy a um, an Apple uh, sorry, not just an Apple, uh, uh, a Mac, it, it would have the sites uh, folder uh, built in. I, I believe that was back when it had Apache uh, already set up. You now have to do some funny thing to, to actually get it running, and that's why I prefer MAMP instead. Uh, but um, as you can see, if you look at this, if you look really, if you look at this tiny little icon, you can see it's got a uh, Safari logo on it. Anyway, that none of that matters. Uh, let's go back to MAMP and let's change this uh, directory root. So I'm going to click on the little folder here. I'm going to go to Documents, go up a level, and then down to Sites, and boom.
RAM. Got that set up. Then what's going to happen is MAMP's going to uh, start, stop the servers and restart it. So now if I go over here to localhost, let me press Command R to refresh. And as I can see, I now see the index of my my home page, which uh, it's right there. So everything's matching up. Okay, so now I'm ready to actually set up this folder where I, I want it to be. So I'm just going to create a brand new folder and just, you know, I could call it data, but I might look at this later and wonder data, what, what about Mr. Data? Um, a little Star Trek joke there. Um, but I'm going to just call it Moodle Data. Okay, and then it had some information about uh, it must have permissions so that the web server user can write to it. I could fiddle with the permissions here by uh, pressing Command I and, and go over here and change the permissions. In fact, actually, just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and do this. However, normally, if you were installing this onto a Unix server, you would probably use FTP or use uh, some Unix commands uh, in the command line to take care of that. But I can do it right here. So I'll first unlock it. And this is probably completely unnecessary, but I'm going to try to follow the instructions. And that's part of the um, that's part of the point of these videos. I'm going to make mistakes on these, and hopefully, if you are watching them, uh, you might run across the same mistakes and maybe be able to give some advice and uh, so forth. Okay, so we've got this folder now set up. I mean, that seems like a lot of uh, a lot of time spent on creating a folder, but we needed to do that. So the next step in the next movie is going to be actually installing the Moodle code. Thanks for watching.